we take these right here, solid piece of composite, you drill a couple holes through them and it makes a weak point in the heel. And yeah! everybody it is what is it October yeah the second so it should be warm but it's freezing we've got a little bit of bait jumping right there we're um it's been a long awaited vlog we're gonna just get in the water and get going I think we're not gonna talk too much right now I'm just trying to find the other camera and we'll get in there going straight back to my big snapper rock I shot at the start of the year so um, then we can go home <laughs> green yeah like super green it doesn't look it from in the boat but it's it's green as <laughs> Surprisingly bad. I wouldn't say a report on Viz as being absolutely shit house, but today that looks absolutely shit house. I'm on a burly. Uh, I'm on the burly I mentioned earlier. <laughs> the rock I mentioned earlier. There is a fish down here. Looks looks like a, not a bad little snapper. Probably six or seven pounds. So I'm going to just work the spots a little bit. Hopefully drown something up. But overall, the conditions underwater are really quiet and really green. <laughs> Lobster. Oh, cool. First one I've ever seen. Oh, right, <coughs> conditions are serving up real mixed emotions today. It, it is a stunning day. It, it's just glass calm, couldn't be flatter, but you've seen the quality of the water we're diving in. It's rubbish and there's not a lot of fish. Have found my first Spanish lobster though, so that's a positive. Um, I'm just throwing a burly off into this deep gutter here. Rusty's back over my shoulder here and we're going to go back to find the girls and probably change spots. <laughs>
Yeah, because you know it's going to be a slog. Yeah. Right, so super long, long day in the water. Thanks again to Rusty for taking us out there. Tough, tough slog today overall, but um, got ended up with three butters myself. Two of them were pretty good size. A snapper, nice snapper. Uh, Rusty gave me two, us two little red craze, and I got that Spanish lobster. I'll follow all this up when... Um, I've got my shit a bit more sorted, but um, as for now, I've got someone, I think, coming to pick up and look at skimboards, so I'm just sort of prioritising that before I do anything else. Really would just like to chill out right now. It's very early start today, and at about, well, wow, geez, six hours plus in diving, and I haven't been for a full slog like that in a little while, so I'll touch base with you shortly. The Spanish lobster, this was in the pot for about 10 minutes in boiling water really had no, I'm assuming it's very similar to crayfish in that regard that it's going to take similar time, looks looks well cooked pretty good um, I mean I'd expect anything like these to probably taste similar to crayfish or any I'm not a lobster expert either um, pretty good all around really I would say maybe not quite as good as crayfish normal crayfish right so I'm wrapping up this video pretty much all I'm going to do right now for you is I'm going to show you some of the latest set of fins now these are going to uh, Chris and Fongaray these are some of my carbon composites what that basically means is they're carbon fiberglass blades for your feet um, they probably consist of about three quarters fiberglass still really nice I have I've spent it several years I'm using methods not conventionally seen with fin building although very closely related and getting some really really good results these ones right here um, as you can see that's the pair there they haven't got fin rail or anything on them yet but they're gonna go in these here pathos foot pockets which the pathos foot pockets I think they're a favorite for a lot of people they're a nice light soft foot pocket they are a glue in which basically means the fin won't come out well certainly won't come out easily but the whole idea is that um, you're not going to have to really take them out because they're a good good blade it does remove the the worst thing and the most damaging thing in my belief to any composite blade is the screw holes that you put through them so as you can imagine if we take these right here, solid piece of composite, you drill a couple of holes through them and it makes a weak point in the heel, in the, in the heel of that blade because you're putting holes in the fibre. Now, depending on what ways the fibre runs in the heels of any pockets, um, it does make for a weak point in the foot of that pocket. And that is probably the thing I have had the most trouble with in the past is them breaking in that screw area which like a lot of branded fins break in that area so um it's just something to touch on this is a great little setup for chris these blades run you about 350 um i've put a lot of development into them i have put a hell of a lot of development into the flex point in the fin and strengthening up of course this heel part of the fin so they're very robust light blades still a very light feeling blade but not the softest blade on the market but also not the firmest either so um, if you sound like a bit of you feel free to give me a give me a bell in regards to blades I'm gonna wrap it up for now on this shitty Thursday afternoon I'm Sam Price I'll see you at the beach